projects that I'm uh, working on. Some of them I'm working very closely with, uh, with our county mayor and some of the other uh, mayors in the region. Uh, I know we had some activity where we are talking about doing quite a bit of development in the western part of the county near the Oklahoma exit. Of course, that would require uh, actually a whole lot of stuff. But right now we are trying to look at parcels, trying to get as many answers uh, so we can move forward to find out if it is feasible find out if it's going to be cost prohibitive, but we definitely need the land. That's one of the things we don't have, is land that we can control <clears throat> and use to market. Uh, the Rome Mountain Sewer Project, uh, we should be getting back on with them uh, next month, uh, because some of the data that we were hoping that the uh, engineers are going to be able to start compiling, I think they, well, I was told they should have it by next month, so we should have a good idea of the cost that will be involved to bring sewer to Rome Mountain. Uh, the riverfront planning is uh, getting put back together. We're looking to meet maybe one time in February uh, with some of the, the developers and landowners that are going to be affected by the riverfront planning. But then also in March, uh, part of a retail plan, uh, we're bringing someone in from TVA to work with existing retailers uh, and show what kind of resources can be made available so they will better understand their markets. And that's going to be March 13th at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, we don't know where that's going to be held yet, but we will get a, a yeah, we'll, we'll let everyone know as soon as we have it. But the first thing we wanted to do is work with our existing retailers, and then later that day we're going to have more of a community meeting to start our retail development plan for the whole county. And the CBA person will be here to help with that. And that's when we're going to be looking at, you know, we've had people say, well, we need an outlet mall, we need destination retail, meaning the, uh, you know, the Cabela's or even Gander Mountain, uh, you know, Bass Pro Shop. You know, what could we handle here and what would be able to be sustained here? And that's something we'll be looking at. Uh, and also under that, and this is uh, something else that Leon is near and dear to his heart, is our hotel proposal. We definitely need more rooms in the county. This is something that with the NECA trying to invite all these people, we don't have a very good guest room for them to stay in, and that's something we would like to do. Uh, we, we are putting a proposal together that will be able to be shared with several uh, international hotel companies, which would, I guess, represent hundreds of different chains. Uh, and we, we would try to get something besides the economy. We'd like to get full service if we can, but again, it's going to be whatever the market will bear. Uh, still working on the SIA route, which is tied to some of the traffic signalization projects, which is Williams Avenue, <laughs> which is one of them. I'm sorry, I'm looking down here at Dwayne. And, uh, and also where Don Lewis hits uh, Stony Creek Highway or Highway 91. And he's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a nightmare, especially in front of the hospital right now, so that's something that's definitely needed. So I'm glad TDOT's finally moving on that. Uh, we're also looking, uh, well, I've already brought up the Oklahoma Park or Oklahoma exit area. That's actually encompasses quite a bit. Uh, we're not just staying on one side of the interstate, we're going on the other side of the interstate near the Corolla and some parcels outside him, also near the railroad. Uh, existing industry, we're still uh, working on our, our, our business expansion and retention program. We'll continue to visit with our existing industry to see what resources we can bring for them. Uh, you know, sometimes just sitting out and talking to them, hearing their concerns. Uh, if, it's, it's, if it's getting a state agency to move quicker, we'll do it. So uh, that's just one of the things that, you know, what we can do locally. Uh, working on getting some industrial park signage. Uh, TBA is doing some design work for us right now. We're hoping to be able to write a grant because uh, one of the things with the Watauga Industrial Park is there's no sign saying there's a Watauga Industrial Park. Plus it doesn't say that there's any tenants. So uh, we actually have three, three separate entrances that come into that park, and we'd like to have one big sign saying that it's Watauga Industrial Park, but then have what's at each entrance, A, B, and C, or one, two, and three, or however that will work. We're also working with TVA uh, engineers to do a virtual tour of a back office operation that could go into one of the uh, Mr. Borla's pods, one of those 45,000 square foot pods. As Alan had mentioned, the ceiling heights are prohibitive to a lot of industrial, but for back office and, and data processing, 
it could be used for it. And what TVA will do is make a series of slides where you could actually walk through what it would look like if there were desks and cubicles and everything, the lighting the way it's supposed to be. So we're working on that right now. Uh, don't have to call Project Quest, Project Quest anymore. Very pleased yeah. with uh, Snap-on Tools. Uh, Red Energy, we are going to be meeting with the principals of that company uh, this week. They are still interested in one and only place for this synthetic diesel facility, and it would be Carter County. We're just trying to hammer out the feedstock agreements because they're wanting to contract with local governments for their feedstock. They've got their capital lined up, and they're looking at the 60 to $100 million investment. Uh, start off with about 50 jobs, but you know, again, it's a significant investment, and it would be a major, major impact on this country. Uh, not just the region. Uh, everybody's noticing uh, Pine Palms group, Dr. Hopland's building is starting to take a little more shape now. Uh, we still have some infrastructure things we're working with him. Uh, and of course, the city is being extremely good, very, very good in this process. Um, uh, don't have anything to talk about on my unnamed confidential prospect because uh, he hasn't gotten back to me. Uh, <laughs>